TV5 Monde French pronunciation, KMD, formerly known as TV5, is a French pay television network, broadcasting several channels of French language programming. It is an approved participant member of the European Broadcasting Union. Summary TV5 started on 2 January 1984 and was under the management of Serge Atta until his death in November 2004. The new director, named on 6 April 2005 as Jean Jacques Alagon, former French Minister for Culture and Communication. The present director general is Marie Christine Saragos. In January 1992, TV5 underwent a major overhaul, including rebranding as TV5 Monde. To stress its focus as a global network, Monde is French for world. Also, part of the changes are a new schedule and new program lineup. Since 1993, TV5 Monde is part of the channel's corporate name. Its Canadian operations are branded TV5 Quebec Canada. However, though the shorter version TV5 is also used. TV5 Monde claims to be one of the top three most available global television networks available around the world, alongside CNN and MTV. History TV5 was formed on 2 January 1984, under the guidance of Claude Chyson, French Minister for Foreign Affairs, and by TV5 President Serge Atta by five public television channels, TF1, Antenne 2, and FR3 from France, the Swiss television Suisse Romande and the Belgian RTBF. The « five from the name TV5 comes from these five public broadcasters. On 18 December 1985, TV5 was amongst the first four channels carried by cable television in France, inaugurated in Sergi Pontois. Following its privatisation in 1987, TF1 retired from the TV5 consortium, although it continued to supply its programmes to the channel up until 1995. On 1 September 1988 TV5 Quebec Canada was created, then TV5 Afrique in 1991. The following year TV5 transmitted using digital compression towards Latin America and the Caribbean. Its coverage was expanded in 1996 with the launch of its Asian Pacific signal with TV5 AC Pacific and its subscription channel TV5 Atats Unis in the United States. Two years later, the Middle East feed was launched with TV5 Moyen Orient in 1998. In early 1999, TV5 split its European signal into two, with the launch of TV5 France Belgique Suisse, a signal specific to Francophone Europe France, Belgium, Switzerland, Monaco, Luxembourg etc. TV5 Europe continued to serve the wider continental audience. A consortium formed by public channels Arte and Le Cinquième entered into the capital of the channel, which brought with it new sources of programming. A new schedule was constructed, centered around news programs such as news flashes on the hour, two TV5 bulletins and rebroadcasts of its partners' main news programs 20 hers from France 2, Soir 3 from France 3, Le Journal Switzerland, 13 hers from Belgium. A meeting with ministers from TV5 in Vevey, Switzerland, gave a mandate to the Channel's Council of Cooperation in order to reform the structure of the channel, in view of creating a unique worldwide channel. The national governments in charge of the five participants gave an agreement to turn management of TV5 Etats Unis and TV5 Amérique Latine over to TV5 Monde, the new name for the channel's head operations in Paris. Following the September 2001 terrorist attacks and the period leading up to the 2003 Iraq War, the subsequent media coverage put the spotlight on TV5's particular way of broadcasting news bulletins from its member public broadcasters. International conflicts arising from the decision to go to war by the United States and the United Kingdom in which France, notably had refused to participate had relaunched the debate over whether to create an international news channel from a French perspective, resulting in the 2006 launch of France 24. 
With the creation of France 24 placing TV5's own existence in doubt, its new CEO Jean-Jacques Alagon decided that, from 1 January 2006 to rename the channel TV5 Mon to better underline its status as the only international francophone channel available on air France 24 at this stage was only available in Europe, the Middle East, Africa and in the United States cities of New York and Washington, D.C. in French. Alagon stepped down from his post on 3 March 2006. The name TV5 Monde only applies to its eight different signals, broadcast from its Paris headquarters. In Canada and in French-speaking Quebec, TV5 Quebec Canada is managed from Montreal, which keeps the original name TV5, as it is operated by an independent company distinct from TV5 Monde. As well as being part of the TV5 family, TV5 Quebec Canada has its own management and its schedule is made with the Canadian viewer in mind and to conform to Canadian broadcast regulations, amongst which, sets domestic production quotas and limits foreign investors to a minority stake. In 2007 a new programme schedule saw the reduction of programming from France televisions France 2, 3 and 5, for example, one daily news bulletin from France 2 abandoning France 3's midday news programme. In 2008, TV5 Monde became part of holding company France Monde. In 2009, TV5 Monde split its Asia-Pacific signal into two, one of them being TV5 Monde AC, a feed for territories located between GMT Plus 8 Hong Kong and GMT Plus 1 2 New Zealand. TV5 Monde's Pacific signal is an adaptation of its existing Asian signal which has been adopted to its time zones to better serve its viewers. It currently broadcasts in Oceania in addition to Japan, South Korea and Southeast Asia, despite the signal's name. On 25 February 2015, a new signal named TV5 Mon Brazil was launched, broadcasting its programming in Portuguese subtitles. <laughs> April 2015 cyber attack and resulting disruption On the evening of 8 April 2015, TV5 Monde was the victim of a cyberattack by a hacker group known as Cyber Caliphate, which claimed to have ties to the terrorist organization Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant The hackers breached the broadcaster's internal systems in what director Eve Bigot described as an unprecedented attack, overriding TV5 Monde's broadcast programming for over three hours, with service only partially restored in the early hours of the following morning. Normal broadcasting services were still disrupted late into 9 April. Various computerized internal administrative and support systems including email were also still shut down or otherwise inaccessible due to the attack. The hackers also hijacked TV5 Mon's Facebook and Twitter pages to post the personal information of relatives of French soldiers participating in actions against the organization, along with messages critical of President François Hollande, arguing that the January 2015 terrorist attacks were «gifts» for his «unforgivable mistake» of partaking in conflicts that «serve no purpose». As part of the official response to the attack, the French Minister of Culture and Communications, Fleur Pellerin, called for an emergency meeting of the heads of various major media outlets and groups. The meeting took place on 10 April at an undisclosed location. The French Prime Minister Manuel Valls called the attack, "...an unacceptable insult to freedom of information and expression." His cabinet colleague, the Interior Minister Bernard Cazeneuve attempted to allay public concern by stating that France had already increased its anti-hacking measures to protect against cyber attacks following the aforementioned terrorist attacks on January earlier that year, which had left a total of 20 people dead. French investigators later discounted the theory that the attack was connected to ISIL, instead suspecting the APT-28 or Pond Storm, a hacking group with alleged links to the Russian government. Investigators concluded that the attack was a test of the same sorts of cyber weaponry that were used to switch off a power station in Ukraine. Topic content Most of its content is taken from mainstream networks in the French-speaking world, notably France Televisions from France, RTBF from Belgium, RTS from Switzerland, and the Radio Canada and TVA networks in Canada. In addition to international news, TV5 Monde broadcasts Ligue 1, Coupe de France, Coupe de la Ligue, Trophée des Champions, films and music magazines. 
Topic ownership The number 5 in the name is the number of founding networks, Télévision Française 1, TF1, Antenne 2, France 2, FR3, France 3, TSR, RTS1, and RTBF La Une. Today, the partnership making up the TV5 MONDE consortium are France Televisions, Arte France, Institut National de l'Audiovisuel, CBC, Radio Canada, Télé Québec, RTBF and RTS. This consortium owns 51% of the service, while the other 49% is owned by France Médias Monde, a holding company that manages France's international broadcasting services. France Televisions, 49% France Médias Monde, 12.64% Radio Télévision Suisse RTS, 11.11% Radio Télévision Belgique de la Communauté Française RTBF, 11.11% Canadian Broadcasting Corporation SRC, 6.67% Télé Québec, 4.44% Arte France, 3.29% Institut National de l'Audiovisuel INA, 1.74% Top Topic channels As of 2015, 10 feeds are being transmitted, TV5 MONDE FBS France, Belgium, Switzerland, Monaco and Luxembourg TV5 MONDE Europe, rest of Europe with subtitles in seven languages, French, English, German, Dutch, Romanian, Russian, and Spanish. TV5 MONDE Afrique Africa, except Maghreb TV5 MONDE Maghreb Orient Maghreb, Middle East with occasional Arabic subtitles TV5 MONDE India India and rest of Asia TV5 MONDE EWA United States with occasional English subtitles asterisk TV5 MONDE Brazil Brazil with Portuguese subtitles asterisk 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 TV5 MONDE Amérique Latine and Caribe Latin America and the Caribbean Caribbean with Spanish and Portuguese subtitles TV5 MONDE AC Pacific Japan South Korea Southeast Asia and Oceania TV5 Quebec Canada Canada asterisk 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 TV5 MONDE Atats Unis has certain programs subtitled in English particularly some newscasts and most movies are subtitled in English language it is unusual to watch a French movie without English language subtitles on TV5 MONDE Atats Unis. Asterisk Asterisk TV5 Quebec Canada is produced in Montreal. Asterisk 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 in Brazil. The French network has partnered with Brazilian National Cine Agency to stimulate the production of independent content in Brazilian pay TV. Topic logos from 1984. For this television network, there are five different logos. The first logo of Television Network is used from 1984 to 1988, the second logo is used from 1988 to 1990, the third logo is used from 1990 to 1995, the fourth logo is used from 1995 to 2006, and the fifth and current logo is in use from 2006. From 1991 to 2003, the digital on-screen graphic was located on the upper right corner of the screen. From 2003 onwards, it has been moved to the upper left corner of the screen and dropped from upper right corner. Topic network availability Topic Europe TV5 MONDE FBS and TV5 MONDE Europe are free to air and can be received by satellite. Additionally, Albania, TV5 MONDE Europe can be found on analog broadcasting in some Albanian municipalities on channels 43, 35, 50, 39, 25, 56 UHF. Croatia, TV5 MONDE Europe can be found on digital cable. Denmark, TV5 MONDE Europe can be found on digital cable. Germany, TV5 MONDE Europe can be found on analog or digital cable. Greece, TV5 MONDE Europe can be found on ERT Channel 22, 46. Ireland, TV5 MONDE Europe can be found on Virgin Media Ireland Channel 825 and Sky Channel 796 Israel, TV5 MONDE Europe can be found on Yes Channel 131. Italy, TV5 MONDE Europe can be found on Sky Italia Channel 540 and on IPTV Infostrada TV, Tuscali TV and Alice Home TV on the same channel number and on TVD Fastweb Channel 68. Netherlands TV5 MONDE Europe can be found on satellite Canal Digital Channel 194 on cable television Ziggo Channel 71 and all other small cable companies on IPTV KPN Channel 70 and Glasert Media Channel 421 
TV5MONDEFBS can be found on satellite, Canal Digital Channel 195. Norway, TV5MONDE Europe can be found on Canal Digital Channel 152. Romania, TV5MONDE Europe can be found on Dolce Channel 116. On UPC Romania in digital, it is available on Channel 721, on Mediabox or LCN. Spain, TV5MONDE Europe can be found on Ono Spain cable channel 402 and on R channel 201. Turkey, TV5MONDE Europe can be found on Digiturk channel 102 and Turkish cable television. United Kingdom, TV5MONDE Europe can be found with English subtitles on Sky Satellite Channel 717, on Virgin Media Cable Channel 825, and free-to-air satellite via Astra 1L at 19.2 degrees east and Eutelsat Hotbird at 13 degrees east Topic North America Neither TV5MONDE nor its supplementary services are free to air in North America. Topic Canada TV5 Canada is a French-Canadian version of TV5MONDE. It offers largely the same programming schedule, with the exception that programming from Radio Canada, which is already available across Canada, is replaced with content from the provincial educational networks Télé-Québec and TFO. As with TV5MONDE, TV5 Quebec Canada is also a cooperative effort, though involving French Canadian networks and producers through L'Association des Producteurs de Films et de Télévision du Québec. The Canadian license also includes Unis, a channel focused on francophone communities outside Quebec. United States In the United States, TV5MONDE Atats Unis is one of several foreign language premium channels offered through international media distribution. Broadcast is in standard definition only. The channel is offered nationwide on Dish Network, AT&T Verse, and Verizon Fios, and offered in most major markets on traditional cable systems such as Charter Spectrum, Cox Communications, Xfinity and Bright House Networks. TV5MONDE is offered on cable and satellite as an a la carte selection for $9.99 a month. On most systems, a subscription to another programming tier or a digital cable package may be required. Purportedly due to underfunding, TV5MONDE cannot yet offer accurate advance scheduling or on-time programming, but progress is being made in these fronts. In addition, TV5MONDE USA offers a French-language children's channel, TV5MONDE, which offers a selection of children's and young adult programming in French. The channel is currently available on Dish Network, as part of the TV5MONDE subscription. Daily blocks of TV5MONDE programming is also seen on the main TV5MONDE channel. TV5MONDE launched TV5MONDE Cinema On Demand, a video on demand service available to Xfinity subscribers in July 2013 that features a selection of Francophone films. Topic Mexico, Central America and Caribbean In Mexico and most countries of Central America and the Caribbean, TV5MONDE Amérique Latine and Caribe is available Sky México, a satellite television platform, on Channel 277. Topic South America Topic Brazil In Brazil is transmitted with subtitles in Portuguese on their schedule. Negotiations are currently being held to launch the first original channel productions in the country. TV5MONDE Brazil is available on Sky Brazil on Channel 108, Claro TV on Channel 132, Net on Channel 141, as well as Vivo TV. Topic Other countries TV5MONDE Amérique Latine and Caribe is not free to air in South America. The channel is available on main pay TV operators in most Hispanic countries, with programming subtitled in Spanish. In French Guiana, a French overseas territory in northern South America, the channel is free and broadcast with programming entirely in French. Topic Asia, Australia and New Zealand The channel is free to air from the Asiasat 3S satellite, covering most of Asia and Australia. Triangle TV in Auckland, Nepal Everest and Wellington rebroadcasts some news programs. In Nepal Everest, TV5 Mond is broadcast by Dish Home on channel No D864. In Singapore, the Starhub TV service broadcasts it on Channel 152 for its digital service customers on Mediacorp TV Channel 5 and Mediacorp TV HD5. In India, Z Network provides this channel for its Dish Network DTH services subscribers. 
Also, many others like Hathaway Cable TV and local cable TV operators offer TV5 Mon free of cost. The channel is also available in Japan on the Fuji Television platform as TV5 Monde Pacific, though Japan is a part of the Asian continent and on Television New Zealand in New Zealand. In South Korea, ISP provider QRIX offers TV5 on its premium HD cable package. India, TV5 MONDEAC used to be available on DISH TV channel 731 but it has been withdrawn now. Currently, it is available in Airtel Digital TV channel No. 157, Tata Sky channel No. 638, Hathaway Cable, Incible, Siticable, Den and Ortal. Indonesia, Southeast Asia, TV5 Monde Asia can be found on Channel 62 UHF in Jakarta. TV5 Monde AC was current for free, found available on First Media, Big TV, Transvision, Dens TV, USEE TV, and My Republic. Pakistan, TV5 Monde AC is available on demand by requesting the local cable operator. Philippines – TV5 MONDEAC can be found on Skysable Channel 134 digital, Destiny Cable Channel 134 digital, Cable Link Channel 74, GSAT Channel 67 and Signal Channel 167 through digital platform. Singapore – TV5 MONDEAC is exclusive on Starhub TV Channel 152 in HD, another sister's channel, TV5 MONDE Style HD was on Channel 150. Sri Lanka – TV5 MONDEAC is exclusive on PEO TV Channel 90 and LBN. Taiwan – TV5 MONDEAC can be found on CHT Mod Channel 750, another sister's channel is TV5 MONDE Style HD on Channel 284 add-on, TV5 MONDEAC also available on Selection Cable TV Operator. Thailand – TV5 MONDEAC can be found on Truvision's Channel 788, Charcoal Cable TV Channel 131 of Style HD and 240 of AC, Phuket Cable Channel 616, Cable Chonburi TV Channel 154, Happy Home Cable Channel 134 and PA Business Phuket Cable Channel 901 of AC and 1049 of Style HD. Hong Kong – TV5 MONDEAC is exclusive on Now TV Channel 714, another sister's channel TV5 MONDE style on Channel 713. Vietnam – TV5 MONDEAC can be found on VTV CAB, SCTV, HTVC, MYTV, FPT Play HD, AVG. Topic Middle East and North Africa In most of the region, TV5 MONDE Maghreb Orient is available on Nilasat 101 and Badr 4 under the frequencies of 11900.00 volts 27503 quarters and 12073.00 h 27503 quarters, respectively. In Lebanon, it is also available on Cablevision a cable television platform serving the country, and via Tele Liban's French channel, Tele Liban Le Neuf. Topic HD High Definition HD broadcasting of TV5 MONDE FBS started on 1 July 2015 via satellite in the Canalsat MUX as a USP Kailed HD feed. In March 2017 the HD feed was changed from upscaled into native HD 1440 TV5 MONDE Maghreb Orient has been broadcast in HD since March 2014 via Badr 4. TV5 MONDE AC launch HD quality for first on Taiwan in September 2014 and Singapore via Starhub TV on October 2015. See also TV5 Mond Denise Ipate, Head of Africa TV5 MONDE Notes and references External links Official site in French TV5 Quebec Canada in French TV5 Monde US TV5 Monde Asia TV5 Mon Charter in French